What's going on, everybody? My name is Mark, and welcome back to Mark Reacts. Um, we are here with episode number four of Squid Game. This is Stick to the Team. Um, yeah, last episode was pretty crazy. We saw another game. We saw the detective infiltrating this company, and he almost got found out, but he managed to grab another one's mask. So now they have no idea who he is again. So yeah, he's definitely still infiltrating there. Um, we saw that that pickpocket girl went into the air duct system and she saw they they were prepping for the next game. So I feel like maybe that's going to come back eventually that she's going to, you know, use the air duct system to check out some other stuff too. Um, and Sung Woo, he knew what game was going to be played, but he didn't share it, share it with his teammates. Um, and I had a feeling that he did that just to like take out the competition, even though he felt bad about it. But in the end, he, he just wants to win. Um, and what else? Um, yeah, the, I, I had a feeling that the, the people who worked at this company, you know, the people with the masks, I feel like maybe there's something more going on with them too. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the episode. Guys, if you are interested to see the next two episodes early, make sure you check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Mark Reacts, where the next two episodes are already up and you can check it out under the different tiers. Just early access to the next next one and then another early access in, the, in another tier for the ne next one after that. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that out. Um, and they will eventually, of course, come to YouTube, but you'll just have to wait a little longer. Um, I hope you guys like my reaction. If you do, please leave a like, it really helps me out. And if you want to see me react to the rest of this show, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos coming to the channel in the future. Other than that, I don't have anything else to say, so let's watch it. I like that it picks up right after everything that we just saw, you know? Oh, he's giving uh giving it back. I feel like she kinda wanted to show her worth, you know? Okay, so they are being brought back to this room. I had a feeling that maybe they were being transported to some other place, but he is relieved that he's alive, I think, but also kind of not. I wonder if it's going to eat up on it at him, you know, and he will eventually, t you know, tell him, or maybe Jihan is going to. Confront him about it. I don't know if there's supposed to be only one winner at the end, or multiple people can actually win this thing, and it gets like split up. Uh, yeah, of course, they had the exact amount of how many people there were. Oh, damn. No one gonna help him? Yo, he's gonna kill him. 
Is no one gonna interfere? Not a damn. I mean, people have definitely got to think twice of saying anything to him again. I think he's dead. Y'all could have prevented this. <laughs> Damn. That's messed up. Because now people are going to think like, oh, I should be killing people. And that way I can have more money. I wonder why they have the the bows on them. Okay, we're back with him. What is he doing? He was like dragged to a different room. Yo, what the heck? Who are they opening up? Is he a doctor in real life? Or like a coroner, maybe? Exactly, that's what I said. I mean, if the the thugs like start taking people out during their sleeping, you know, that's gonna mean there's gonna be more money. Like things are gonna get very competitive. Oh, that's why he had the thing in his food. Maybe they have to carry an egg with like a spoon without dropping it. Oh. I get it. The problem with the detective being there, he has no idea what, like, what the schedule is and what he needs to do, right? I have no idea who he's stabbing. It's crazy that this is all part of the game. I mean, the games in itself are dangerous and scary, but now you can't even be safe in this room, you know? Oh, she, he is fighting her. Come on, someone help her. Oh shit, he has the knife now. Shit. Not, not so nice. Fuck. It's a good thing that they've got this team. I feel like he's probably hiding somewhere. It's really hard to see, like, who's attacking who. Like, I feel like half of them are gonna be dead at this point. Gonna be, like, 50 alive, something. No! 
Yeah, no, everyone is just gonna come in. They were standing there with the weapons. Dang, yeah, like I said, it's probably like 50 or something that died. He's trying to make contact. I wonder if these, like, coffins look like that because they're like gifts, like offerings, maybe? I don't think they're gonna go the supernatural route, but you never know. Sebyok? <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? Twenty-seven people. Huh. I thought it was gonna be more, honestly. Maybe people just got injured, I guess. <laughs> They're talking about the fact that there could be a couple people maybe winning this. Because they were saying, like, if we kill all of them, don't we just win it all? So maybe, maybe it is a certain number of people. Promise too, like he is being watched all the time. So he can't like do anything really, except for like this under his blanket, I guess, but he, he, he doesn't really have any like privacy. Is this the same night? Morse code, really? I think he wants him to respond. Maybe. Because he wasn't sure if he was the one, you know? But now that he have a, has a different mask, shouldn't he be in a different facility too? Or maybe he's hiding the mask. I mean, if it's about speed, I guess you could, like, you could, I guess you could get some women, maybe. Because they're, like, a agile, right? Like, I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of people who are there by themselves, you know, who don't know anyone. That's not going to go over well. She said she was going to kill him if she if he betrayed her. And, like I said, it's gonna make him look weak to his, like, little, like, gang. Should have teams of eight, right? Or eight teams of ten. I mean, eventually there's gonna be one left who doesn't have a team, right? Come on, Sam, we'll figure it out.
Do I have to like swing to the other side? Tug of war. That makes sense. So you definitely need strength on your team. That's why he's so upset now, yeah. And they got all like this, the toughest guys. I mean, if you fall off, you just die. Probably. Alright. Yeah, he's got a lot of women in his team. He probably thinks like, oh, this is gonna be easy. Which, it might. Got like pretty old guys and a few women in there. I mean, it's not just about strength, it's also a little strategy in there, but having a lot of strong people definitely helps. You can also like stop pulling all together and then they fall on the floor, right? And yeah, this is not gonna go well. Yeah, they don't have any grip. Oh dang, dude. Oh no! They just cut the rope? I thought they were just gonna wait until they eventually drop themselves. I mean, I guess you could survive that fall. Probably think it's better to just die, but... Yeah, they got this old guy, got three women in there. Hopefully they don't have to go against number one. He's... what? Was the guy watching the detective or the guy who put that blood thing on there? I think... The I think the person who put the the plus on the coffin kind of sizing each other up. Okay, okay. They all have dudes too. Probably a little happy about that. I mean, I get. I guess they, they win, because I don't see them losing already in the like the fourth episode. But I don't know. I think he put that on there because the person in there was still alive and he wanted to help them. But I don't know. But he's still being watched. Usan. Yeah, I figured. It's really interesting to hear all this. It's really cool. And then you pull. Yep, pull. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if this really works. I mean, I know there's a little strategy involved, but... I've never heard this before. Oh, fudge. I wonder if they have to do this only once. 
You know? Oh shit. Kind of pulling back. Now what? Come on, what words of advice do you have? Yeah, that's what I did. Yes. That's the synergy I know. Just make, make them slip, you know? Awesome. Okay, I didn't expect it to end just there, but cool. All right. That was episode number four. Um, got the tug of war. And like I said, I, I, I've done my... Um, well, I wouldn't say my fair share of uh, tug of wars, but I've done a few back in, the, back in my day. And what I used to do was just... You know, when you were pulling, obviously, and then sometimes you just go forward and then they would fall and then you could pull, right? So I was assuming he was going to come with that solution. But I never heard about the just lean back and kind of confuse your opponent. But uh, it's cool that they actually did use my strategy, too. Um, I mean, it's not my strategy. I'm sure many people know about this, but that's just what I always did. Um, Okay, so the detective, he put a cross on one of the coffins, and I'm assuming it's one of the guys who actually was still alive. Maybe he's going to try to question him. Maybe he's going to try to help him. I don't know. Um, but he was being watched by one of the triangle face guys, I think. So definitely not in the clear. Um, and... Like I said at the start of the episode, I like that they always like pick up right where we left off. Like there's never like, okay, now we're just back in the in the room again, or we're just starting a, a couple early uh, hours later. You know, um, I like that. It's it it feels like a very fluent story that way. Um, so this was only game number three, and we're already at episode five. So I'm curious uh, how many games we're gonna have. Um, because there's nine episodes, I believe. Yeah, man, what a good show. Um, I just, uh, I'm finally like starting to learn, learn a few character names, which is nice. And I think uh, the criminal guy, he, they did say his name, but I already forgot. It was something with a P. But um, I think he might... Uh, he might be killed by that woman. I think uh, definitely something is going to happen there still. Then again, it, he could also be killed by that pickpocket girl. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just keep it, it just keeps being entertaining and interesting and exciting. You know, it keeps you on your on the ed edge of your seat and. Uh, I really appreciate that. I think they've done a really good job with this show. And I know that there's going to be a season two. So I'm assuming a few of these characters definitely make it out alive. But still, we don't know who. And I have no idea how they're even going to continue this. Maybe we're going to get a new, whole new set of characters. That's possible too, I guess. Like, I would assume at the end of this season that this whole operation is being shut down because of the detective and but then how are they going to make a season two, you know? So I don't know. There's definitely uh, still a lot of things that need to be answered. And I can't wait to find out. Guys, if you are interested to see the next two reactions, they are up on Patreon for early access. If you're interested, definitely check that out on patreon.com slash markreacts. If you like my reaction, please leave a like. It really helps me out. And if you want to see me react to the rest of this show, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos coming to the channel in the future. Other than that, I don't have anything else to say. I hope you have a great day and take care.